Peckard 8. That's what we're looking at here in Sydney on the last day of winter. But it is a nice day. The sun is out and it's uh, the temperature is quite pleasant. So no complaints there. And this is it. An absolutely lovely 1934 11th series Packard Straight 8 sedan. Um, the last owner bought this car in 1994 from um, a car museum and not only a car museum, it was called Extravaganza, I think, in South Aust Aust in Western Australia, in Perth. And um, uh, this museum, Extravaganza, sort of displayed uh, lots of extravagant things. Um, and unfortunately, the owner of the museum, who was a very wealthy man, um, was in Hawaii, um, doing a helicopter pilot's license when uh, hovering uh, just a meter and a half over ground uh, something happened the helicopter crashed and he, he and his instructor died and it was subsequently um, decided to sell um, the um, contents of the museum off and, and that's how the, the uh, last owner got it. Um, there are uh, numerous, um, uh, quite a file of, um, uh, of uh, uh, letters going backwards and forwards and stuff um, from the Extravaganza Museum and um, there is also a, um, a receipt there for something like uh, 1200 um, and something uh, US dollars in parts for an engine rebuild that the car had in 1993 so only one year before then tragically um, the museum had to be dissolved um, so well as I said the last the last owner had it since 1994 which is 16 years he kept the car registered but he's telling me he did not use it much at all. He's been up to Newcastle, which is about uh, 220, 240 kilometers from here, uh, a few times to do weddings, uh, including his son's wedding, which was uh, even past uh, Newcastle. He's, uh, I think he's got relatives up there. Um, and he said the car always, and he's been up to Orange, which is. Uh, um, 160 miles I think he told me uh, in the in the other direction and he said uh, at, at that occasion they were traveling with four people and he said the car said absolutely lovely on about 55 60 miles and I've uh, I've done that driving it here I've I, uh, uh, got it um, 10 kilometers away from here and I drove it here and it's it drives absolutely lovely gearbox motor um, fantastic um, the car has got what I would call patina. We're not sure when it was repainted and stuff and there are some chips and paint chips and, and, and bits and pieces out of it. It's certainly not in concourse condition but uh, oh, this is one thing here you can open these little louvers um, for uh, additional ventilation on hot days. Um, It needs a bit of TLC and, uh, and a good polish because in, uh, over the last uh, two or three years it has basically only been sitting uh, under cover and it was quite dusty when I got it and I just sort of dusted it off and, um, but there's certainly, um, certainly room there to, uh, to improve on that. Um, also the chrome while it's basically sound, still it needs uh, it needs a good old clean, and um, yeah, this is this can come down, of course, to uh, strap luggage onto it. Right. Um, yeah. Well, maybe we have a look inside. 
Uh, the car is still registered um, on club registration. There are also, uh, not to go over here, uh, there is a split in that window and the windows, uh, you know, um, and there is um, something, this, they're separating. Um, there's a bit of brown stuff on that window and uh, on this one as well. There is a split in one other place somewhere. Can't remember now where I saw that. Uh, yeah, it's a bit delaminating in that corner. But you may want to do it, you may decide you don't want to do it. I don't know, somebody put a horrible radio under there which should be removed. The, this, the dash here is wood grain and I think all the um, wood graining in the car is still um, the original. Uh, on the driver's door worn away a bit by the driver's elbow I guess. Um, It's got the stickers from the previous years in there. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what these things do, even the, the owner that I bought it off uh, wasn't sure if they're doing anything or not. He was really not all that much a vintage car man or something. He bought the, uh, he bought the um, Packard off the museum and I saw, I saw the letter where they offered it to him for 59,000 Australian dollars. I'm not sure if he well, he, he, he said he didn't pay that, but uh, how much he actually paid, he didn't tell me. Um, the, the window here can be pushed forward. Oh yeah, there's a little split here in that window too. Um, the wiper, uh, the wiper um, mechanism is working. Um, just it's missing the, uh, somebody nicked them, he reckons. The, the wiper arms, but we'll uh, get hold of those. Uh, it's got it's got the, um, the air conditioning there. It's a three-speed and reverse gearbox. It's also got um, more air conditioning on by the feet there. Right. Um, yeah, the hood lining is not all that flash either. And I don't actually know how these things are supposed to. Oh yeah, there's, there's probably metal in there or something like that. You can get this one to sort of work. And that one here is obviously broken. So that needs some TLC. The hood lining sagging in the back there and we'll see. It's not a big deal. It's, it just needs a bit of uh, um, retightening basically. But it's an absolutely lovely car and, the, and, the, and it drives just absolutely superbly. We'll have a look at the engine in a minute. Uh, here's the rest of my camera gear. Um, obviously lots of room in the back here. There is a box there with some gaskets and rubber gaskets and stuff. Maybe, uh, I don't know where. It, it was just something that he said he got was the car and something that he sort of passed on to me. Um, while we're doing, while we're in here, here's the, um, there's these letters from Extravaganza, um, uh, straight eight, three, 320 cubic inch, which I think is about 6.3 liters, uh, some Packard, uh, more information. The 34, well, it's an 11th series. Some photos uh, from the car when it obviously was nicely, a bit more nicely groomed up than what it is now. Um, right, more letters here. Stuff that there is uh, there is uh, yes it's here it's just six point three liters um, there is a receipt here from oh there's a restored cars magazine with the um, 
with an article on that model. Uh, here we go. This is Kent. Are they uh, the uh, uh, spare part suppliers? Very famous company, and they supplied uh, pistons, piston rings. Piston pins, piston clips, timing chain, engine overall, gasket set, inlet valves, uh, front engine mount, piston pin bushings, etc. Um, 1174 US dollars, and that was in December 1992. Uh, during, as I said, um, during the course of 19. 93 um, it, it was the engine was then rebuilt and it certainly sounds like and it certainly runs absolutely beautiful and uh, the, the um, mileage it would have done since uh, this was all um, since the engine recondition is probably something like uh, a three or five thousand miles right let, let's have a look under the engine under the hood in the engine bay I should say right now unfortunately where I am here and um, we're right in the middle of Sydney it's very hard to find any more nicer places to uh, take photos or a video it's right next to the motorway but what I was the point I was trying to make is the engine is now running I mean, standing back here, you cannot hear it. You cannot, that's how smooth this engine runs. Right, here we can see it. Yeah, as I said, it's been sitting very long. You can see that it's all uh, dusty and the whole car was very dusty, so it does certainly need some TOC um, while the previous owner had a, a chap who put some new spark plugs in it and it's certainly running absolutely beautifully right here's the other side of the engine probably idling slightly too high I should put that down um, here's the Packard vehicle number I don't know if you can see that's 7031752 um, engine number I'm at the moment not 100% sure where that is but anyway we'll, um, we'll find that as well so and I think uh, we should now go for a drive right we're driving off the lawn here And there's a big curb now. Oops, here we go. But of course, with these big wheels, not a problem at all. And um, now, the gearbox this is reverse, this is first, second, and third. Now, th these things have so much torque, I haven't tried it, but I'm sure I can take off just insert gear if I wanted to and here we go this is third gear clutch completely out here we go just to um, demonstrate a gear change as well very very smooth gear change right here we're in first take off second speed bump right um, the dashboard the, the, all the instruments work see very good oil pressure um, speedo works um, gas uh, fuel gauge works ampermeter works um, and the uh, I don't know, I haven't tried the 8 days clock, um, I don't know if you have to wind that up or if it's, oops, let's reverse, right, let's go down the street, and it is absolutely fantastic 
how smooth and quiet that engine runs. It is really, I mean, you can't hear it. And still, of course, it's got a lot of talk, sorry, it was a bit rushed. A bit tricky to do everything with one hand. There you give it just half a second and the gear trans is absolutely smooth. See we're up to 40 miles an hour now. Going up the street here. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Big car, of course, uh, about 17 feet long. And uh, was appropriate leg room in the front and even more so in the back. No power steering, of course, but a good turning circle. Right, I will pull over here because that's where we sort of need to go. Right, and here's the ignition lock and you just switch it off and here we go. So that is what we've got here, a 1934 11th series Packard Straight 8 sedan. 320 cubic inch or about 6.3 liters on its way to the UK.